The Undertaker is waiting in the parking lot, and Michael Cole, and in hindsight, I'm happy I get to do this invitation now. The Undertaker told us earlier today he's awaiting the arrival of Diamond Dallas Page. This is Michael Cole. Dude. Yeah. In hindsight, this had to be intentional. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Vinny. It wasn't. I don't want to jump ahead, uh -huh. but I just, I just can't help it. It's the biggest thing on the show. Dude. Yeah. We'll get to the details later, but they do an angle on this show where Stone Cold Steve Austin bullies, beats, mm -hmm. and hospitalizes Michael Cole. The people in the front row are cheering their heads off. <sighs> oh, yes. yeah. They're laughing. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're pointing. Yes. One more time. One more time. There's no way this was intentional, Vinny, because in their minds, this was supposed to be a heavy heat angle for Stone Cold Steve Austin. But what actually happened was he beat up Michael Cole. The fans all cheered. <laughs> And Michael Cole ends up being replaced by Jim Ross, yes. who just announces circles around this poor guy. Yeah. It was the biggest swing and a miss I ever saw. <laughs> and Steve Austin is trying so hard. And if you watch it, he is the greatest bully, but he is bullying a completely unsympathetic character. Yes. Yes. There was a grown man in the front row that pointed at Michael Cole and said, "Get him!" <laughs> it's just, God, whose <laughs> whose idea was that? Well, I know whose, Vince. Yeah. That's why Vince chose Michael Cole to replace Jim Ross, and he has whatever, not changed his mind. <laughs> whatever anybody thinks about G about about Michael Cole, that is not what Vince McMahon thinks of Michael Cole. Vince McMahon sees this guy. As the voice of WWE. And since the fans love WWE, that means they must love Michael Cole. Hmm. We then have, everyone, <laughs> another amazing segment with Steve Austin and Vince McMahon. This is my favorite. This time we get a shot at Deborah's legs and they scan up and she's got this giant platter of cookies. Not a metaphor. Actual cookies. Actual yeah. cookies. Yeah, giant yeah. platter. Yep. And her and Steve Austin give them to Vince McMahon as this gift. And Vince grabs one of the cookies, and he takes a bite. And you can see by the look on his face that he thinks these cookies taste horrible. Mm -hmm. But he's trying to be a nice guy about it. And he's saying that they taste fine. And as he's got this look on his face, he's crumpling up everything. Steve goes, what do you think? And Vince says, uh, they, they taste great, Steve. And Steve goes, I think they taste like crap. <laughs> died. Absolutely died. Buries his wife's cookies. She's offended. Vince is still eating this, this cookie. And they leave the whole platter with him and leave. Everybody involved in this was awesome. My favorite part of this, and you, could, you I, it actually is subtle. So I, I can understand why you might have missed it. But Deborah's presenting this plate of cookies to Vince, and Vince is looking at them and doesn't know what to do. And Austin just like barely whispers. He just says, You can break your diet. I know you're a bodybuilder. <laughs> Cause he's putting Vince over. Then listen. We could talk about this for four hours. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't do it ten percent of the justice it deserves. The best segment in SmackDown history. <laughs> It's so awesome. Steve Austin comes out apparently for a promo, but no, he's actually just there to harass and bully Michael Cole. And I don't know Steve Austin's background. If he was a bully in school, if he was bullied in school, I don't know. But I'll tell you this much. Steve Austin on SmackDown is the best bully you ever, ever, ever saw. And he's... He's in Cole's face. Look at me. Don't eyeball me. Look at me. There's a difference. He's giving him just little shoves and flicking at the back of his head. He says, I heard, it. heard you, Michael Cole. You don't like Stone Cold's chances in that triple threat match. You say, I haven't been the same since I sold my soul to the devil. Are you calling Vince McMahon the devil? 
Am I understanding you correctly? You can flap your gums all you want about me, but you can't badmouth Vince McMahon. And he continues, and it's it's such a perfect gradual escalation of intensity. He keeps saying, I said I was going to whip your ass and not do anything about it. But he pushes him a little more, shoves him a little more, messes up his hair a little more. Cole can see where this is going. He's trying to flee, but Austin won't let him. He's bigger, smarter, faster. Cuts it, goes around the analysis to cut him off there. And finally, he just says, I, I said I was going to whip your ass, and it's happening now. And he throws him down, and he stomps a mud hole in him. Place is going crazy, cheering. Yeah, get him one more time, one more time. It's the best beat. It's a worked beating, don't get me wrong, but he's he's so intense and aggressive as Stone Cold Steve Austin. And he's thrashing this guy. He's just mauling him like a damn bear. And he thrashes him at this end of the table, throws him to the other side, tears his shirt off, thrashes him some more. And finally, it's done. It's over. This man had enough before Steve Austin never showed up, it was, but, but he's definitely had enough now. And Austin just grabs him, grabs his feet, Splits him and just stomps at his nuts. Just yeah, but does. Cole won't cooperate. Cole will not allow him to Would spread you? his legs. So he's like he's like pinching his knees together. So Austin to... pulls his legs like scissors and stomps him in the balls anyway. <laughs> and then after he's done all of this damage and Cole's oh, he's wailing on the ground, Austin just walks over and just puts his foot on his face. Yeah. And just steps on him. Austin was the greatest bully. Like he was such a great bully. That Brock Lesnar would like go home yeah. from school. Like <laughs> yes. I don't want to mess with this Stone Cold Steve Austin guy. He's he is a bad man, and the fans are just cheering, and they they cart out Michael Cole and they replace him with Jim Ross. Yeah. I'm like, dude. As much as I praised some of the angles on this show, I mean, stuff like this is the beginning of the end of Vince McMahon as a genius because he thought this was going to get sympathy. I mean, how how could you think that? 